not get an update on the equities market here in Nigeria. The equities market is trading sideways at the moment. The broad index has recorded two straight sessions of losses, but we're looking at a profit-taking spree at the moment as more investors digest a raft of earnings reports. Ayo Deji Ebo is here with me in the studio. He's the head of research at AfriInvest Securities. Thank you so much, Ayo Deji, yeah, thanks for, for taking the time me. out to join us. We've had two, the market has had two straight days of gains, and we've had a raft of earnings coming in, investors digesting uh, those numbers. Uh, but right now, the market is trading sideways. Why is there profit taken at this time? Yeah, it's still, it boils down to show the kind of, uh, the confidence level of investors in the market. Uh, most people that uh, were able to, that took positions were speculators, short-term investors, and looking at, based on the macroeconomic uh, overview, which still there are a lot of uncertainty as a result of the global uh, policies that still affect the emerging markets, so uh, people are just trying to take short-term positions. So when you realize some uh, little gains, you try to just uh, opt, out, opt out. Like today, you see people already taking profit on Owando. Sterling Bank, which also did well yesterday, um, people are already, already taking profit on it. As at, um, and the uh, early trading this morning, people are already taking profit, which just shows the confidence. Week two, but when you look at the week two date market, um, had gained around 0.8%. Uh, on the back of uh, gains in consumer goods and the oil, uh, oil, oil and gas sector in this is. So uh, are you, are you saying that, sorry about it, that this trend uh, is likely to continue, talking about the market, perhaps taking two steps backwards, one step, uh, two steps forward, one step uh, backwards as investors take a short-term investors uh, play harder at the market. Uh, would you also say that this is perhaps uh, an offshoot of the fact that there's still a lot of you know, uncertainty, as you said, uh, still hovering over the market because uh, it didn't appear that the markets, you know, investors were satisfied with the decisions that were taken at the MPC, so many outstanding issues, but particularly you know, regarding the Forex reserves and denial. Yes, have you, yeah, investors are still, uh, are still not satisfied with the decision because when you look at it um, logically with your declining reserve currently at $37 uh, billion, dollars, um, how, how long can the CBN continue to defend the Naira with uh, about uh, $0.8 billion issued every week? Um, very soon it will hit less than 35 billion and we see that there may be an emergency meeting even before the next uh, May MPC meeting because um, we can't afford to use all the reserves to defend the Naira. So uh, eventually they may um, take a bow and ensure that uh, it, they devalue the Naira and increase the exchange rate band. Okay, well, let's uh, we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. So let's move on to earnings. We've seen a wrap, but it's quite interesting to note also that still there's still many companies that are yet to report their, 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 their full year 2013 financial reports and Monday, 31st of May, exactly the deadline. Yeah, it's also um, a surprise to us that uh, when you look at it last, at this time last year, about over 70% of um, the companies listed on Nigerian boards had published their results apart from those that applied to, uh, for exceptional um, approval by uh, to the NSC as a result of the IFRS conversion. But this year, out of the banks, just four published their results. So uh, we still need um, to get more information on the reason why uh, they are not ready to, um, willing to bring forward and publish their reports. Okay, let's talk about outlook for next week. I mean, now that you've said that we might see that, you know, certainty continuing, we might see some uh, more profit taking or investors, the short term players, you know, still dominating the market. What kind of direction are we going to see? Uh, what, or rather, what uh, sectors or individual stocks do you think investors will be cherry picking next week? Yeah, next week we, we expect with the loss. Um, Currently, about 3.2% um, in the banking sector um, this week. We expect uh, profit, uh, people bargain on thing next week. We expect that the trend will reverse. So we're already we're projecting about 1.1% week on week gain next week on the back of gains in the banking sector. When you look at it in terms of the multiples around trading and uh, multiple about book multiple about um, 0 0.9 times. Uh, it still presents opportunities when you compare it to frontier market and emerging market, which is over one time. So, okay, so regardless of the pressure, regardless, regal of the regardless of the broader issues you know, surrounding the banks, the uh, valuations are still, valuations are still are very attractive, regardless of um, the uh, CBN policies that uh, yeah, well, are yes, stifling might be their income. They, of course, uh, this has, the debate has been, yes, they're attractive. I, I suppose investors knew that, but the issue is, do they 
want to take the risk of sticking with some of these banks? Yes, uh, when you look at from um, the prices when they, uh, where these stocks opened at the beginning of the year, uh, investors are already pricing those some of the uncertainty, the expected um, hawkish uh, policies of the CBN into their pricing, which has brought the prices of those stocks to their current level. So you see an asset at 7 Naira, which, are, which was, was trading above 10 Naira, 11 Naira last year. So people have already factored in that into their, into their um, position. So we don't expect that uh, it continues on a free fall. Okay, well, are you still bullish on this market? Ah, cautious. You bullish? You're cautious. Yeah, yeah, we expect that to continue to trade sideways. Until something yeah. perhaps drastic. Until something drastic happen. Uh, because the U.S. tapering will also, um, people, investors will continue to, re uh, foreign investors will continue to reduce their risk exposure to emerging markets. So if you look at it, and also the um, interest, uh, interest rates um, that we're also looking at will also go up in the U.S. So if that, uh, with over 50% um, uh, accounting for the total transaction, of the, the FPI accounting for 50% of total transaction in Nigerian bonds. So we expect that um, they will co people will continue to be cautious. Local okay. domestic capacity okay. is still very, very low. Okay.